This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Delmarva Dental Services. Well, you brush, you floss, you rinse, you do everything you can to keep your teeth in tip-top shape. The care you put into your teeth may leave you wondering, do I still need to go to the dentist? And how often do you really need to go? Well, consider this. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, nearly one-third of adults has untreated tooth decay. The CDC reports one in seven adults ages 35 to 44 has gum disease. But that number jumps to one in every for adults who are 65 years and older. Let's take it a step further. What about your kids and their oral health? Well, the CDC reports nearly one out of every five children has untreated cavities. The rate is almost 20% for kids between ages two through five, and almost 23% of kids between the ages of six and 19 has untreated cavities. Well, there are a few simple solutions to avoid these setbacks, and some of them may surprise you. In fact, it doesn't have to be painful and it doesn't mean you have to visit the dentist for more than your routine checkups. Joining us today to explain are Dr. Joseph Harmon and dental hygienist Allison Klebe with Delmarva Dental Services. Thanks for joining us this Thanks. afternoon. Glad to be here, Lisa. Now, Dr. Harmon, we heard the statistics. We can get some pretty serious health problems. Why are people not going to the dentist, do you think? Well, people make a lot of excuses to get out of going to the dentist. Like, it's sunny out, it's raining <laughs> out, my dog <laughs> ran away, yeah. uh, I have a headache. Uh -huh. uh, the most important one that trumps all dental visits is I have a hair appointment. <laughs> and you know, Lisa, if you had a hair appointment, you wouldn't go to the dentist. You're probably <laughs> right about <laughs> that. <laughs> we find all kinds of excuses, don't we? But seriously, the main causes of not going to the dentist are fear, uh, cost, and people are too busy. They're just too busy, yeah. What are some of the common fears that people have? Well, a lot of the common fear, main one is uh, fear pain, mm -hmm. um, needles, drill, sounds, loss of control, uh, embarrassment, mm -hmm. getting lectured. Yeah, yeah. So we're talking adults primarily, but kids. How can we ease the fear of kids, especially young ones? Well, really, the, the earlier you go, the better, before you have a problem. We recommend uh, going between six months and one year, mm -hmm. and uh, that way they have a pleasant experience before mm -hmm. they have a problem. Yeah, yeah. Now, going back to adults, we have our fears too. Is there a way you can ease our fears? Well, the biggest thing is to listen, mm -hmm. to listen to the fears. We have an anti-anxiety scale, uh -huh. and basically we find out what they're actually afraid of, and we can address them directly. Mm -hmm. And we also have forms of sedation and things like that can help. So there are other health problems that can, can occur by not going to the dentist. What are they? Well, uh, not going to the dentist, uh, you can have a higher bacterial level in your mouth, mm -hmm. which can uh, affect your health. It can raise your blood sugar, bacteria in your bloodstream. Uh, it can lead to problems with your artificial joints and, uh, and things like that. Okay. Now, Allison, we know that it's a, it's a daily thing to take care of our teeth. What are some things that we should avoid to have a healthy mouth? First and foremost, uh, don't smoke. Mm -hmm. um, you want to um, avoid eating ice, chewing ice, biting your fingernails, uh, using your teeth as tools. Yeah. It definitely can cause damage. Um, you also want to um, try not to sip on sugary drinks. Um, and stay away from energy drinks. Right, right, okay. So, and there's some things we can do, Allison, maybe to just avoid the dentist, <laughs> going to the dentist so much. What are they? I definitely want to floss every day. Uh -huh. Everyone's least favorite thing to <laughs> yeah. do, of course. Uh, use an electric toothbrush. Uh, use a low abrasive toothpaste that contains fluoride. Um, rinse with an antimicrobial mouthwash. Mm -hmm. And uh, before bedtime, take an oral probiotic. Okay, so so we do all these things, the good maintenance, maybe we won't see so much of you. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if you see Allison, I mean, who would you rather see? Would you rather see Allison or would you rather see me? <laughs> it's, it's just a matter of taking care of everything. Thank you so much, Allison and Dr. Herman, Thank you, Lisa. for joining us this afternoon. And to learn more from Delmarva Dental Services about how you can keep your teeth in tip-top shape, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Well, many people, men and women alike, also face fear when diagnosed with breast cancer. There are so many emotions involved when you or a loved one goes through something like that. It's comforting to know that support is available. Learn more about that. Plus, find out how you can show your support for those 
who have been diagnosed. It's a night of food, fun, and fashion, and it's all for a good cause. In fact, we'll even get an early taste of what to expect when we head to the kitchen to put together a delicious rockfish dish. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.